The chances are you know someone with an artificial hip or some other medical implant, and you would assume those products are rigorously tested to make sure they're safe. But a new Consumer Reports investigation just out this morning shows it is rarely the case. Elaine Quijano has one woman's story. After developing severe arthritis, 56-year-old Terry Sagalo had her left hip replaced in 2007. At first, everything seemed fine, but not for long. When I got home and after a couple of weeks, I started, the leg started to, to hurt. Despite the pain in her left hip, Terry needed her right hip replaced two years later. Then a bombshell. The manufacturer, called Depew, was recalling all 93,000 of the artificial hips worldwide. I had both hips were being recalled. The hips, which are all metal, have a high failure rate, and metals from the implants can seep into the bloodstream. That's linked to an increased cancer risk, problems with eyesight and hearing, and other complications. And it's not just hips that are failing. According to an investigation by Consumer Reports, most medical implants have never been tested for safety. That doesn't surprise Dr. Stephen Nissen. There is a consistent pattern of failures in medical devices. He co-authored a separate report that found more than 2,800 people died in 2006 because of faulty devices. I think people make the assumption that when their doctor implants a device, whether it be an artificial joint or a pacemaker, that it's undergone very rigorous testing. And that assumption isn't always true. In a statement to CBS News, Depew says dozens of tests and studies relating to the design, materials, and performance of components of their recalled hips were conducted and point out that the hips were cleared for marketing by the FDA. But that's little comfort to Terry Sagalow. She's one of hundreds of patients suing the manufacturer. I'm finding out now that these things that they put into me weren't even tested, and they're in my body. It's really quite upsetting. For CBS This Morning, I'm Elaine Quijano in New York. The FDA did not respond to CBS News' request for comment. It told Consumer Reports the current regulations have served American patients well and that as a responsible guardian of public health, the FDA believes it's a challenge to eliminate a program without having a better alternative.